<laughs> Good morning. It's Lissy. It's 7.40, Tuesday, December 13th. I'm having some, I was just having a little bit of a scare. Oh, I wonder if I should change my earrings. We'll come back to that. Um, I was having a little bit of a scare with my computer. So I keep getting this message on my MacBook that basically my memory is full. So I've been like deleting things, deleting things. I bought this cleanup program. My poor brother-in-law, like he's my chief technology officer. <laughs> so he, I was texting him last night. I had this old like program on my computer when I used to need to be able to access like Windows things on at home because for to be able to do work stuff. But now I can just like VPN right into my work computer if I need something. So I don't need Windows programs on this computer. So he was like, well, delete blah 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 so I was deleting a bunch of stuff last night and then just now when I went to go film um I got this weird error message I'm like oh god I hope I didn't delete my camera <laughs> like whatever I need to do but I didn't I don't know what it was but nevertheless when I go to um see my sister and brother-in-law in a couple weeks around Christmas time I'm gonna have him do some tech support on my computer <laughs> lucky him I mean the poor guy's got a new board at home three kids under three so and here I'm going to come needing his help. He'll probably appreciate the break. It'll be another adult to deal with the children and he can deal with the computer. Anyway, so tonight I have my holiday work party. Oh, let me back up. Sunday. Is that where I want to back up to? Yeah. Sunday morning I went and saw the movie Jackie. Loved it. I wasn't sure. Like, I saw some previews. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like Natalie Portman playing Jackie Kennedy. But it was really good. And of course, the clothes are amazing. Um, so I highly, highly recommend that. I liked it better than Allied. And then this coming weekend, I really need to go see Nocturnal Animals. That's next on my list. Although Manchester by, by the Sea is also on the list. And La La Land will be out. So yet again, I'll have a dilemma. I'll probably choose based on what the most convenient time is, which is how I ended up seeing Jackie this weekend. Okay. And so tonight is my work holiday party at the ICA, which is the Institute for Contemporary Art here in Boston. And I have never been there, so I'm excited for that. Um, we did have our holiday party there a couple years ago, but I, I think I was sick. There were, like I was planning to go, and then I think last minute I just didn't feel up to it. So this will be fun. And that's why I was like, oh, I wonder if I should change my earrings. Because, you know, I wear my diamond studs every day. But occasionally I like to mix it up, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm wearing this white dress, the brand of which I never remember the name. <laughs> um, my Saint Laurent, yeah, Saint Laurent ankle wrap shoes. These are some crazy um, pattern tights. I, I fussed around with the tights and the shoes. Like I put on black tights. I was like, it looks too severe with the white dress. Then so I put these on and then I put on either black like over the knee boots and then I thought I'll try these is this too much with the pattern tights but no I like this and this is the winner and I'm just gonna carry this bag because you know when you're like at a cocktail party you want to just be able to have first of all I want something that I can carry what I need for today because I'm going straight to the party from work but also at a cocktail party you want something cross-body so that you don't have to like you know you want to be hands-free because there's cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I think that is the extent of it today. I judged my hair a little with the flat iron. So my hair, so I have a, an appointment to get my hair done on Friday after work. Um, I think this is as long as I want it to get, especially cause like it was, it's just a little flat, like unless maybe she does some long, like choppy layers, I'm going to have to chat Patrice up about a few things and see what she thinks but everything is a little longer than I like but honestly like I'm fine with the color like I'm five weeks in and you know this style like I don't mind the roots so much because they're not so severe before I was like black and white you know so um I think that's it I think that's it for today. I do have a other list of other things I need to chat you all up about, but I, I need more time than like when I'm rushing out to work. So have a good one. Bye.
Good morning, it's Lissy. It is Wednesday, December 14th, 7.30. So last night was my holiday party at the ICA for work, um, which was really fun. I didn't actually go up into the museum. So like one floor is where I think normally it's like a stage, like a little event kind of space. So that's where we had our, um, the part like our party, but you could go up into the museum. And I didn't make it up in it because, you know, well, first of all, we only do these like at work. We only do events like this twice a year. There's a summer one, which is like a family friendly event. And I don't usually go to that. But the holiday party is an adult event. And so I go to that. And it's just really fun. Like one guy that I work with, I'm good friends with his wife. Um, coincidentally, I'm friends with her outside. of Like we met. We met kind of outside of work and then realized we kind of knew each other from, you know, the fact that she and that I work with um, her husband. So it's fun to catch up with her. My one guy that I work with, um, his wife I went to graduate school with and she and I are good friends. Like we've known each other for 20 years. So she was there. And then, you know, just like you talk to people you work with that you don't like really talk to on a day-to-day -day basis. So it was just lots of yapping, lots of wine drinking. And then after I went across the street, there was food there, but the line for the food was long. There weren't, you know, it's like there weren't enough places to sit. So I went across the street to Ocean Prime with a couple people and I have never been there. It was really good. We ordered some, we bellied up to the bar and we ordered some sushi. It was very, I really liked the sushi there. It was delicious. Um, so that was my night last night. I did want to say thank you so much for all your comments on my music questions. I love reading everybody's answers. So a few, maybe more than a few of you have seen my, had seen Michael Jackson in concert and oh, how amazing that must have been. I never saw Michael Jackson. I would have loved to have seen him. Um, there were a couple other ones, like if one or two of you went to Justin Timberlake, haven't seen him, love him. Like I think he's a doll. I would definitely be interested in seeing him. And then something else. Oh, somebody else mentioned Bon Jovi. Now, I saw Bon Jovi like in the 80s when I was in New Jersey and a big hair girl. And he was like a big hair guy. <laughs> but um, also, I'll have to see if I can find clips. If I can find... So a few years ago at the Hot Pink Party, you know, that I go to every year to benefit benefit the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, Bon Jovi was our, like, entertainment. It was, it was amazing. Like, to be in a room of, like, 500 people and you have Bon Jovi there, like, singing to you, to me personally, no. <laughs> it was awesome. And I know I did snap some videos of that. So I'll have to see if I can, if I have them still, I'll, like, see if I can insert them or figure out where I put them and put a link or whatever. But anyway, the point, the long-winded way of saying, like, I loved reading everybody's comments on the music um, that you guys love. So that's that. The other thing I wanted to mention, like, my outfit is not exciting today, but the reason I popped in is because I forgot. Like, with my new, like, the new Gucci boots and the new Dior boots that I've been wearing, I forgot about my gold Max Mara booties that I love, so I'm wearing them today. Um... And it made me think of a question. So do any of you all, so there's this designer called Anina Bing. And I've seen her, like I follow her on Instagram. Like she has this really like kind of cool girl style. But she has an amazing pair of gold booties. And I just wanted to tell you guys that in case, I'll put a link to them in the little box below. But because every time I see them, I want to buy them, and then I have to remind myself that I already have a pair of gold booties, and I don't need those. <laughs> but having said that, I did order. I haven't gotten it yet. I ordered. So you know how I sold a bunch of stuff like a couple weeks ago, um, including two leather jackets. They, they just, neither of them was exactly what I wanted. So I bought one of hers. I think it's scheduled to arrive tomorrow. But, um... I'm not sure how the fit's going to work for me. If I had to get, if I was a gambling woman, I'd guess that it's going to be small. But we'll see. And I'm just curious if any of you guys have ever gotten any of her stuff. Because it looks really nice. 
And for what it is, it appears to be reasonably priced. Um, like the leather jacket I ordered was like maybe just south of $1,000, which for a nice like supple leather jacket is not that expensive. Um, yeah, so that's, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm wearing my Gucci Marmot bag again today. I figure it's just easy. And I'm going to throw on the Stella McCartney coat. Um, today, like, I think today is the last day for a few days I can dress relatively, like, lightly, because by Friday, I think it's going to be, like, zero. So that will be wholly unpleasant. <laughs> but I think that, <clears throat> excuse my raspiness, too many cocktails last night, um, I guess that's it for today, and I will see you soon. Bye. Hello, it's Lissy. It's Saturday afternoon. Oh my God, it's almost three o'clock. Like, I don't know where the day went. So, what have I been up to this week? Oh, let's see. Thursday night, I had a um, work, like, cocktail thing, drink thing, which was actually really nice. I don't generally social do a lot of socializing outside of work with my work people, but... One of the heads, like kind of one of my peers, he heads up one of the other groups at my company. Um, he, like, we're generally almost our whole company is in Boston. We literally have like three or four people, like one in Australia and two in London. S s two in London, really. But anyway, they were in town this week for our holiday party and whatever. And so he had organized, like, for his whole group to go out for drinks on Thursday night. And he invited a select few other people who like work with them a lot. So it was really fun. Like I had a really, like I had a really fun time Thursday night and, um, that's about it. I was supposed to go out with someone else after, but, um, like it started a little later than I thought and I didn't want to have to rush out. And so I'm glad I didn't cause it was, I had a fun time. So last night I went and got my hair done. So I had her cut it a little bit shorter. Um, and I think I'm growing the bangs out here. I want to show, I'll show you. Um, so basically, I have a picture in my phone. Um, like, I like this picture of Carly Kloss, like her bangs. So I told Patrice that I kind of want to try to grow out over here and see if we like that. So that's kind of what I'm working towards. But, um, so basically that's really all I did last night. Afterwards I came home, I, um, I had some dinner and that's it. This morning, it's, it was snow, the snow has stopped, but we probably got, there's probably like four inches of snow out there, but I was up at Adam at eight o'clock to the trainer at the gym. And then I came home for a bit in between, like had some breakfast. I FaceTimed with my sister and then I went and got a mani pedi. Um, and I've just showered. And I think I'm going to go brave the elements to just do a few. I don't really have a lot of Christmas shopping to do. But I want to maybe get a few like stocking stuffer kind of things for my sister. Um, and that's really it. And I'm staying in tonight. Unless I take myself out, which is a possibility. So that's my day today. Um, yeah, I might take myself out for dinner as, as I was in last night and I don't have, like I haven't gone to the grocery store and I don't envision that happening given like there's a lot of snow out there, like still, and I don't want to be traipsing about in the snow. So we'll see what happens tonight. And then tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to go to the movies again. I might go see La La Land. But I did want to mention to you, well, a couple things. I did some, Neiman Marcus was having their friends and family sale, which for what it's worth, it wasn't really that good. Um, it was good if there's a brand you like that was included, but so much was excluded that, um, you know. But a lot, of, a lot of brands are doing that now. They're not allowing these stores to include them in their discounts. So anyway, most of what I bought is getting sent back. So I was planning to show you a bunch of stuff, but then I retried on a couple things this morning and I'm like, this is just like mediocre. Like, why am I keeping this? So I'm sending almost all of it back. But separately, I got, 
So I mentioned, I think, earlier this week that I like, there's this designer, Anina Bing. And I don't know that her stuff is sold in any store. She has her own boutiques and stuff. Maybe it's sold in some other boutiques. But I had seen her leather jackets, and they look lovely. And I've seen reviews that they're really good. My real concern for me was the sizing wouldn't work for me, which is kind of true. I mean, it, it, it works, but, like, it couldn't be... It couldn't be even a, a tidbit smaller. It would be too small. But so here it is. This is the jacket I got. Does this tell us anything? No, this tag really says, oh wait, maybe the inside says something important. Nina Bing. Oh, it just has like a style number and stuff. But anyway, so I got this and I love it. Like, it's a little snug, but I think, I mean, so basically I have two layers of shirts on right now. It's definitely snug in the arms. Um, like, I couldn't wear, like, a thick anything with it, but that's not really what I would do with it because for this kind of leather jacket, for me, like, if it's cold enough to wear really, really chunky stuff, I'm probably not wearing a leather jacket. I'm probably wearing, like, a heavier coat. So anyway, this is it. And it's really nice. These are my snow boots. <laughs> um, but it's a it's a beautiful jacket. It's like really nice leather. Um, the biggest size it comes in in large. If it came in an extra large, it would be perfect. But I'm gonna like kind of wear it around inside a little bit, um, and make you know to decide. That if I'm going to keep, I think, because leather stretches, so I feel like, it's not that it's too tight, like, it's just that, like, I think this needs to stretch out a little. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, but if you're any smaller than me, I highly recommend it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I also wanted to show you, and I'll insert some pictures. I did this before. So Alicia is selling a Valentino um, leopard rock stud bag that has a crossbody strap. It's a beautiful bag. It's hardly been worn, um, as with most of her bags that she sells, you know, when you have so many. And she takes really, you know, incredibly good care of everything. But um, I think new, I think it was like 2400 I think she's asking like around 1200 or 1100 something like that. But anyway, I will insert pictures, and if you're interested, I'll put, um, I'll put her email address in the box below, and you can just email her if you're interested. Um, she knows it, that I was going to be putting it in one of the videos. So that, I think, is it for today. Depending on how I feel later, I know I owe you guys a few other things, like, um, the two other things I wanted to, like, I have on my list, like, to do a fragrance video and also to have a chat about other favorite YouTubers and bloggers and things like that. So, um, we'll get to that one of these days soon, maybe when I get home later. But, um, that is it for now, and I will see you later. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. I've been out. I just really ran out. I didn't do much today. Um... I went to Neiman's. I basically got some beauty items, mostly for my sister to put in her stocking. I did get one new lipstick for myself, but we can discuss that another time. But I got some fun, like a couple fun lipsticks for her and like a nice highlighter and stuff like that. And now I'm home and I was hemming and hawing about what I want to do tonight. Um, if I wanted to go out or not, and I've decided I'm going to stay in. So I've just been futzing around. One thing I keep meaning to mention to you, which I'm glad we're chatting now, is what I've been futzing around. My hair is like, anyway, um, this piece is driving me crazy. <laughs> That's not the point. So I've been but one thing I've wanted to talk to you about, which I was just reminded of because I was futzing around watching videos, is that I'm wondering if you guys love, as much as I do, James Corden's Carpool Karaoke. So I just watched the Stevie Wonder version of it. He did a, um, 
I'm all discombobulated. He did a um, Mariah Carey, All I Want, you know, her All I Want for Christmas song. But he must have, like, with a bunch of the more recent Carpool Karaoke's, done it with them but never showed it. And then he, like, did a mashup with all the different people. It was super cool. Um, like, I could watch those, those Carpool Karaoke's. I just am so, like... It's, they're really good. The One Direction one, amazing. Justin Bieber, like there are a couple with him. So funny. Just, it's super cool. So anyway, I wanted to mention that. And then the other thing that we've been meaning to talk about are like the other YouTube channels that are my favorites. So I think I've said before that, so I guess I like different YouTube channels for different reasons. So in terms of um, more beauty type stuff, I really like Lisa Lisa D1. And I do like her other, just like some of her little fashion-y things. Her style and my style is different, but I, there are definitely things in there I like. And she's introduced me to like jewelry designers and stuff that, um, you know, that I didn't really know about. Like Dean Davidson and Jenny Bird and things like that. Um, so she's one of my favorites. Let's see. There's this one, another, another gal. She's in my neck of the woods, like in Maine or something. Hot and flashy. I think she's in her 50s. She looks amazing. But she does some fashion, mostly beauty. Um, I like her. I like, for beauty, like for tutorials, like really beautiful makeup, Brianna Stanko. And then for like shopping outfits I one of you actually have we talked about it I think I've talked about it before sheer Lux, which isn't really a I mean they have a YouTube channel but I think it's more like they're an online magazine type thing but I love watching their videos um and oh and one of you recently suggested Trini Woodall Woodall to me who I had found somehow Oh, you know why? Because Sherlock's did something with her. So back a long time ago, I used to watch What Not to Wear. Um, and I loved that show. And so I was so psyched to see that Trini had a YouTube channel because I just love her. I think she's amazing. So she's one of my recent favorites. There's a bunch of young um, British gals that I've been watching that I like. And I, I wish there were more women in my demographic. Um, but anyway, I really still like watching some of these young gals because they have, like, I like the, um, you know, they, they buy luxury bags and shoes, which I always like to see. So for example, um, Lydia Millen is one that I really like. Ta Tamara, I don't know how to say her last name. Um, and then I think Lydia introduced me to I Am Choquette. She's like one of my new favorites. And is there another one? Oh, um, Song of Style, uh, Ami Song, who has had a, you know, has been a, like a big blogger, you know, here in the United States. Um, she started doing YouTube videos and I really, you know, I just think it's fun to see these people who, I don't know, I've gotten bored with blogs because I like at least when you do YouTube videos, you get a sense of someone's like, personality and more who they are versus like let me take a picture in an outfit and tell you what I'm wearing but with nothing really like of any substance other than that so I like her I like Song of Style's YouTube channel and I know I'm missing a bunch um oh god I'm sure some more will come to me but so as far as like actual blogs one of my favorite ones is this gal called well her blog name is B Frassy. Her name is, I can't remember what her name is. But what I like about her, I honestly, some blogs I just like to look at the picture, but she's a really good writer and she's very, how do I put this? Um, she puts it all out there and I really, I like, I admire her for that because it takes a lot to, I'm sure there's a lot, I mean, she probably keeps to herself, but I'm very interested in what she has to say. So she's a blog that I actually like to read. There's another gal. She actually, I think she got her MBA at either Harvard or MIT, and now she lives out in California somewhere. 
Her blog is called The Feather Factor. And she does, what I really like for her is she does a Friday update. That's the thing I like to read every week. And it's a, it's got different tidbits, like a little bit of shopping, like interesting articles that she's read, um, what book she's read that week. She's just a smart girl, um, but also she loves her luxury fashion, but she researches it. You know, she really, she really, she really buys high quality stuff, but sparingly, I guess quality over quantity. And then that reminded me, oh, and then there's another gal, um, her name is Elle and her blog name is fast food and fast fashion, I think. And she's another like smart girl, like, and she and I are kind of like Instagram friends. And let's see who else. Oh, and then in terms of like YouTube, like more vlog style, HRH collection. I know most of you guys watch her. She's very entertaining. Um, another one that does the more vlog styles that I really like oh I know I'm missing somebody hold on I'm gonna put you on hold and go look at my like subscription list okay Eva in the city she does vlogs and like shopping Maria Dragonova I like when she does like her luxury shopping like vlogs um, Sophie Showhat she does vlogs, shopping reviews, that kind of thing. Mel Sodera, Soldera. Those are those are some of my favorites. I know I've missed some. Oh, I have a what's the lovely gal in um There's a lovely gal. I think she lives in Lux. Oh, the luxury the luxury babe or something like that. Oh gosh, we did a tag before. The Lux the Lux babe, I think. I think that's her name. But I'll, I'll link to all of them in the box below. Um, so if you have any others, I'm sure there are some I watch. that I, Like I watch Jerusha Katora, though she hasn't been doing as many recently. I watch um, her channel used to be called Queen of Sheba, but I think she now just renamed it to her name, which is Angelus. I think it's Angelus Barano. I always thought it was Angela Barano, but I think it's Angelus Barano. Um, I really like when she, cause she does lots of luxury shopping and some vlogs and stuff. So I guess that's, those are the ones I can think of at the moment, but, um, you know, let me know of any others that you really like, cause I'm always looking for new ones to watch. And if I think of any more, I'll pop back in, but I think now it's six o'clock Saturday night. I think I'm going to make myself a Vesper, although I'm dangerously low on Lily Blanc which is one of the ingredients in a Vesper. And I went into my local like wine store on my way home to pick up some more. And the guy there was just kind of, I don't want to say he was mean. That's not the right word, but he just wasn't very friendly. I was like, excuse me, do you have any Lily Blanc? Very politely. And he was like, he looks up like to where it is. Cause I didn't know where it was. Like there's a wall of like stuff, you know, I didn't see it, but way at the top, there's Lily, like the rosé version and some other version, but not the Blanc version. And I was like, oh, so you don't have it? Not now, we don't. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know, just no flourish, no niceties, like just very dry, droll. So anyway, I will likely make myself a Vesper. I've ordered myself some takeaway. And I'm going to like... Oh, I think I'm going to try to finish watching The Crown. I'm obsessed. I'm going to be really upset when it's over. What do you guys think of The Crown? It's amazing. I love it. I'm fascinated, fascinated, fascinated by it. I give Queen Elizabeth so much credit for being a woman in that time. Like, it's got, it had to have been very difficult. Um, I just think it's really, her, her story is just really interesting. And... That's it. I think I'm going to go to the movies tomorrow morning. I'll probably go see, I think I might see La La Land. Um, and that's it. I hope you've had a great weekend. Bye.